Has your heart ever been broken? Have you ever felt like it was never going to mend? Have you ever believed in something so deeply that it just felt like it was jumping out of your chest, like getting ready to happen? Or have you ever felt so hopeful that you knew there was no way that this was not going to happen to you, that you were going to get that job or meet that person or you two would get together, get married, maybe move in. I don't know that, that you were going to win the battle. Well, that is your heart chakra at work. And my name is Dr. Lisa and I am here to help you manifest your best life in 88 days. And today is day 11. That's just amazing because on day 11, we are talking about our heart chakras. And truly, the heart chakra really does help us to navigate. I would say it is, in essence, the strongest of all of the seven major chakras um, because it has mm, every everything to do with, it has... It is so powerful in this manifestation process because if you don't believe something's going to happen in your heart of hearts, it's never going to happen. <laughs> like it just won't happen. Your heart physically, your physical 3D heart is the strongest about your magnetic field generator within your entire body, not your mind, your heart. Your heart literally from it, it are, come the issues of life, right? Not just blood circulating through your body, but literally your heart chakra sends out an energy field. It sets your energy into motion, aka emotions. And whether good, bad, or indifferent, or broken, or happy, or sad, or any of that, it's it's going to rule things. It's going to create your world. If you're not feeling good, have you ever noticed you wake up and let's say something, one negative thing happens when you wake up and then you're just like, oh, God dang it. And you're frustrated. Have you ever realized that unless you change that energy pretty quick, that the rest of your day is nothing but a succession of frustrating opportunities for you to like learn or change your day, right? So it literally creates your entire world. Okay. Now the heart chakra serves as the center of love um, for my, for ourselves and for others of compassion, of empathy and forgiveness. And all of those things, joy, peace, all of those things, right? Pain, no disappointment on that lower level, that lower scale. Your heart chakra is literally right here in your chest. It is the fourth of the chakras. So it is the halfway point between the upper three, the throat, the third eye, and the crown, and the lower three, the solar plexus, the sacral, and the root. And so everything up, down, all around comes right through this gateway. It is processed through the lens of experiences that our heart has, the memory that our heart contains, right? It's processed through that lens. Yes, does a lot of manifestation and visualization happen here? Absolutely. But the reason, right, this is vision, right? The reason why I it, routinely, every time I go through a meditative process with, 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 with anyone um, is uh, that I have you visualize, then I have you drop it down into your heart. Because when your heart, when you really get it right here, then we can emit this energy, right? Then we can emit this wonderful energy. Someone taught me years ago, it was a YouTuber, and if I can remember his name, I'll put it, put it here in the description. Um, but that when you can bring your kundalini energy up, and we'll, at some other time, we'll talk about kundalini energy. If you don't know what it is, you can just Get, leave me a comment and then I'll make some videos on that. But if you can bring your kundalini energy up and hold it here in your heart and bring your vision down and hold it here in your heart, that's like fertilization. The two come together, spirit and earth come together to make manifest because this is the true generation of reality. This, the heart truly does, um, 
it does rule everything in the matrix because the amount of electromagnetic unseen energy that can emanate from your heart re rearranges atoms and subatomic particles. It draws people in and pushed and repels people from you. It draws in all this wonderful energy. And then when you, when, when, when you heal and you're able to kind of like release, then it releases all the energy that no longer serves you. So it's very, very important that we make sure that our heart chakra is balanced. One thing you'll find, especially if you're an empathic person and you just naturally have a lot of compassion, that sometimes we have so much compassion for other people, we don't have enough compassion on our, for ourselves, and we don't take care of ourselves. So the biggest thing I would say when looking to heal the heart is to really go in and forgive but not just forgiving other people, because we understand that that is really important. Right? I get that. We all know that forgiveness is for ourselves and not for the other person. But what about forgiving yourself? Because a lot of times we hold on to this like guilt and the shame and, and we could have avoided it. And how could we have done differently and all of these things? And it doesn't allow us to truly ever release right? what's happened to us. Forgive yourself. That's the first person, right? You need to forgive yourself and really seek out what, and, and, and I know it's painful sometimes, but it's very important to heal the wounds, to heal the pain, to release the trauma, to transmute it and reintegrate it as power. It's just so important to be at peace because this is really where you create a vortex from. It's not up here. This is a little mini, like little mini, little mini vortex little twister, not a big cyclone, right? So what I want you to do, I want you to be sure that what you're doing is uh, regularly, okay, that you're listening to heart healing music. That's going to be like at about mm, 528 or so. That's going to be a really good frequency to listen to. Go to sleep by it, you know, all that kind of great stuff. Um, water, running water, uh, rain, all those nature sounds, that's honestly going to also smooth and soothe and heal your heart. And as well as the lower three chakras, right? I want you to have compassion for yourself. I want you to practice self-care. I want you to practice self-love. I want you to tell yourself in the mirror that you love yourself. I want you to congratulate yourself on all of your, all of your successes and that you have a wonderful life. And I want you to thank the universe true gratitude for having all of these things for the last three months. Like I want you to really, really do that. Wearing colors like green or, or having amethyst or having like malachite or um, other uh, jade, um, all those green stones that all helps, you know, and, and, and if you can diffuse like patchouli, um, if you can, diffuse lavender, you know, all the, it soothes, it heals. But the most, most important thing I can say of everything that I've said, every tip that I've just given you is you really need to love yourself. You just, you have to forgive yourself, have compassion with yourself and, and, and know that everything you, you've not wasted time. You didn't do things the wrong way. And now you can't recover and all of the, you can, okay, you can, because you cannot love anyone else until you love yourself, period. And when you have that ability to love oneself and then have compassion for self and others, that's when you really begin to see what your purpose is. And that's when your heart begins to be healed, whole, and peaceful, nothing missing, nothing broken. Now I want you to comment below on how, what tips, what, which one of these tips really helped you the most? Give me some feedback. Let me know if this series is helping you at all. Let me know what changes have happened since we started this series. Okay. Can you do that for me? I want you to do that. And if you can, great, awesome. All right. And then don't forget to put a like on here or heart it, whatever case is, wherever you're watching this and give me a follow or subscribe on whichever platform you're on. All right, and I'm going to leave this with you. Never, ever, ever forget to give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. I'll see you soon, okay? Take care.